I'm Michael Wargo, uh, team pilot with Precision Aerobatics. And today we're going to discuss a little bit of a special mix that I do and uh, talk a little bit about mixing in general and how valuable it can be, not just for a PA plane, but any plane. For right now, there's this magic mix that people have seen that I use when I'm flying uh, and in my videos. And what it does is it helps the plane tumble and it also provides some really interesting uh, flight characteristics when you're doing elevators and things like that and I'm going to demonstrate it to you. And what it is is uh, basically a, a flap and spoiler on mix. This very special mix is uh, a mix that mixes the elevator with the ailerons but has the ailerons both pushing up or down with the elevator. So here is mix off, there's only an elevator moving and when I push this switch on, full, the elevator and ailerons move together. This provides a really interesting uh, ability to, like I said, to tumble, and uh, this plane is extremely buoyant. So on some maneuvers, it looks really nice when the plane is just falling and descending in an elevator uh, really quickly. But I'm going to demonstrate some of the maneuvers and uh, give you a little more idea of what I feel the role of mixing in your models is. What mixing actually does is it takes two different controls and mixes them at will. There's a uh, uh, let's say for instance you have a high wing model that when you're flying it as soon as you add throttle the the plane will start to rise well it's very helpful if we put a little down elevator and mix it with the throttle so as the throttle goes up the down elevator will mix in just a little bit of down elevator to keep the plane flying level so that you never have to worry about that uh, jets scale models a lot of them have the same tendencies and the fact is, if you mix those tendencies out, the plane will always fly nice and straight and level. So when you fly straight and level and you trim your aircraft, mixing for coupling and things like that is exactly the same thing. Uh, you'll see me mix for knife edge flight. Uh, the PA planes don't need this uh, very often, uh, if ever, if you set them up properly. But when the plane turns on knife edge, sometimes it wants to roll out or it wants to pull towards the canopy or towards the gear. And if it does, whenever you apply the rudder, that's what's, what's making the plane do those undesirable things. So when it's on its side and you apply some rudder, what's going to happen is you can apply some elevator up or down to correct how it's pushing or pulling. So when you rotate the aircraft, it'll stay nice and straight and will fly trimmed um, on knife edge flight the same way it flies trimmed on level flight. And there's many other mixes, and I'm going to send my guide to mixing. I'm going to put it in a link at the bottom of this video so you can see other uses for it. But the purpose of this video is to show you this special mix that I have and show you the results of it with the plane in the air. This is the monitor section of my radio, and if you'll see when I deflect the elevator, only the elevator goes. When I click this switch, elevator mix on. All the way down. Then you'll watch and you see both the right aileron and the left aileron move. Although it shows in opposite directions, technically they're moving in the same direction. They are both moving in the same directions because of a mix. This mix is the elevator flap mix. Now, the reason why both move from elevator flap is when I set the model up, the model was set for flapperons. So that means I set a 70% mix on the upside and downside of the elevator with the switch set to on mix off. Elevator mix on. on whatever switch you decide to set and now every time I deflect the elevator the right and left ailerons will move up or down 70% and you can set that to whatever you're comfortable at that just happens to be how I set it okay for instance here's another mix Rudder Aileron Elevator, that's a very popular mix that I use all the time to mix out coupling in any of my models. By coupling I mean if the plane goes on knife edge and I uh, hit the rudder, what's going to happen is the plane is going to pull towards the canopy or the uh, gear. Uh, or possibly roll right or left in or out of the maneuver. Um, and it's just a natural tendency of some airframes. Now. 
I'm going to show this to you, but this is a PA airframe, and if, as you can see, all of them are set to zero. That means the plane flies perfectly without any coupling, and it, when you put it on its knife edge, it'll kind of stay there. Uh, when I do this mix, I keep the mix perpetually on instead of assigning it to a switch, but you can assign it to a switch. That's just one of the mixes that I use. This, for instance, is a program mix. I'm going to click on that and I can either make a normal mix so it's linear or a curved mix. In this case, I'm just going to hit normal quickly just to, to show you something. In this mix, all you have to do is pick the control channel, which in this case, they're both inhibited. We're going to select and I'm going to hit the throttle. So now the throttle is going to control something else. And as you recall, I was discussing a throttle elevator mix. Right here you can see I've selected the throttle elevator. Uh, you select it like this, you hit the proper uh, selection. And what this is going to do is as I put the throttle up, as I change these percentages to, you know, plus 40, 50, 1, 2, anything minus something, um, as I move the throttle up, it will deflect the elevator proportionally to how I set it. And that is, like I said, if the plane is ballooning as you go to full throttle, that will level it off. There's a lot of other reasons uh, for this particular mix. I like to use a little down elevator on down lines because the airplane tends to want to try and rise out of a straight down line. It tries to fly out a little bit, so I put a little down elevator with zero throttle. And as I put the throttle on again, it normalizes. All right, I'm going to show you some maneuvers that come out entirely different when you apply this uh, with this mix. Now, this is going to be mix off. I'm going to show you a knife edge spin with the mix off. See how it wants to make uh, circles rather than flip. Now we're going to turn the mix on. Same maneuver, now watch. See how tightly it wraps up? And that's all because of the mix. And you see it, it comes out just as easy, comes back just as easy. Now here's, here's another move, maneuver with the mix off. This is an elevator. Now you watch how fast it's sinking. You see it's desire to stay buoyant because that's the way the plane is designed. I have no throttle on, it's just, it's just falling straight down. Now, this time, I'm going to try the same maneuver with the mix on, and watch how nice and fast this thing just comes down, because I've reduced the wing area quite a bit. As you can see, this thing is just falling straight down. And it's a really nice maneuver if you want to do, uh, you know, kind of one of those flip it over the top and just land in this configuration. But you see how much faster the plane is and how much different the response is. There are a lot of really helpful mixes that can do a lot of things. For instance, on my jets, I mix pushing the elevator forward. After it lands, it applies brake, so I don't have to reach for my brake lever. Um, there are mixes for just about everything. You can use a throttle rudder mix in order to be able to keep the motor from pulling the plane to the left. It is a uh, common mix. There's a lot of ways you can mix things in or out um, with this function and I think it's a really important part of the hobby and understanding how to set your aircraft up. Another popular mix is Crow and that is to set a spoiler on function along with the flaps that adds your ailerons to the flap mix. So when your flaps come down, your ailerons both deflect up and adds a little extra drag when you're landing. It can be really helpful. Most who have been flying for a while know the mix between the flaps and the elevator and things like that because it's used on most of the warbirds or jets or anything else you're flying. That mix is a little down elevator or possibly up with the flaps because when you put the flaps on the plane tends to balloon. So if you put a little uh, negative uh, elevator in it, it will level the plane off while your flaps are on.
this mix, program mix one for rudder and AX3, that is a switch that turns off the nose wheel steering when the gear is retracted. Again, it's just another simple, helpful mix. But there are so many more uses for mixing, and I'm sure if you explore it a little bit, you'll find a lot of your own. <laughs>